Hello babies and welcome back to another video on It's Wendy's World. I am in the bathroom. I want to do a edge update really quickly if I can. So for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I struggle with um, my edges being thin and bald. Every so often I fall out, they're growing. But the reason they're falling out was basically because of me. Whenever I would braid my edges that were already bald and thin, it would make it worse. And I wasn't doing the proper things that I should have been doing to it. Once I finally caught on to I need to do something to make my hair grow, I started watching videos. And wanting to make my edges grow, I started growing out all of my hair. Protective styling, deep conditioning once a week, making sure that I moisturize and seal my hair every other night. Um, making sure that um, I leave it alone and allow it to grow. If it's at my shoulders, I make sure I leave it up so it can grow past my shoulders because the friction will cause your hair to break because we want to wear our hair down and swing it around. However, that friction is what's causing our hair to break off at the end, so it's kind of stagnant. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to do is is get me out of being in a, snag, a stagnant state. So my hair is at armpit length. I'm about to take, take my braids out this week, and we'll see how much has grown since then. But right now, my hair was at armpit length. Um, and I'm trying to get it to go under the band in my bra or whatever. Um, just so when I touch the back of my hair, my hair is actually past the band in my bra. So I'm really wanting to see how my hair is done since then. I haven't had a perm on my hair. I do text locks. I haven't had a perm on my hair in about five months. Um, I've been just braiding it up and focusing on my edges with these braid styles. So, what I have, first of all, before I get into it, what I've been using is the Black Hair and Skin Care line. I use the Holistic Scalp Cream. It's a steroid-free approach to scalp strength and health blackhairandskincare.com this is what I'm using okay now I'm 41 so my edges are all gray see all it looks like all that white right there that's all gray hair now if you look look at all that y'all look at all of that hair I don't know if y'all can see it good but let me turn this way so you can see all that that was bald I know it's gray but get up in there and this side just as well. All oh, that's gray. All oh, that gray hair, y'all. I've massaged. This was completely bald now. Completely bald. Because my hair, the, the style I had before the braids tore my hair out. And I've been, you look at that. Look at these edges. Look at all that gray hair. Look at all that gray hair. Now, once I, you know, put henna on it, or use some, look at all that hair that sprouted out. This gray. It's like a little gray headband. All that's hair, y'all. Look at all that hair that I've gained. Now, um, it's still thin, absolutely, but who cares? It's hair there. <laughs> Once I dye it black and put a little, you know, a little jam, not too much gel to keep it dry, but a little jam on it, then it's going to be cool. Um, I'm excited about what I'm doing about my hair, you know, journey. And to answer just a few questions, first of all, hi to my new subbies. It's nice to see you guys. Thank you for joining the family. What's up, Kim, folks? Um, I'm in bliss. Everything is going well. Um, my skin is glowing. My nails are growing. Um, my hair is growing. My heart is growing bigger for my guy. Um, we start um, Last Friday, we took the kids together on a family date day to Dave and Buster's, his son and my son. His son's um, two years younger than my son. We had a great time. They came over this past weekend and spent the night. And then we hung out like all day yesterday. Today is my son's 14th birthday. And um, so he's up now. He can't sleep because he's getting an iPhone today. Upgraded on his iPhone. So he's excited. I remember being excited as a kid too to get something. You couldn't sleep because you know it's coming that day. Anyway. Amazon is going good, except I'm kind of worried right now because the only thing you can get fired for is having negative um, um, unpaid time off. And I have like, I had an hour that I could use, but I used 30 minutes of it. And they're like, well, you can only use it in increments of an hour. Did know that there's nowhere that stipulates that. So let's keep our fingers crossed and I'll do a quick update, you know, after work and let y'all know what happened. But um, hopefully they'll be able to fix my hour. Um, today, this is Sunday, August the 9th. So hopefully they'll fix my hour before I go into work today. I mean, when I go into work today. Because if not, um, as a Gemini, and as someone who obsess over things, I'm already looking for, do I want to start back my daycare? Do I want to, um, there, I can go work 
you know, at um, Chewy's, you know, there's lots of jobs hiring to work from home because of the COVID stuff. So I'm not going to lose his job and then not have anything. Because God is not an Indian giver. God doesn't give you something and take it away. He always transitions you to something different, to something better. You know what I mean? And this job got me out of a bad marriage. It got me into the budget suites, out of the budget. Well, it didn't get me into the budget suites. It got me out of the budget suites into a nice place for me and my son, a two-bedroom, and fully furnished it. And um, Marin's paid. I have enough money in the bank right now if I need to pay. If anything happens with a job today, I can pay another month's rent and start looking for work. So September will be already paid. So I don't have to worry about rent for October. You know what I mean? So um, and there's a lot of different things, you know, that can um, that are helping out. But other than that, I can't allow myself to stress over things that are out of my control. That was out of my control. And because I'm a kind, hard worker, and I go in there and I do my job and I'm self-motivating, I'm not worried. And like I said, look at that hair. Anyway, if God gave me something, he gave it to me. Um, I want to tell you guys, too, about the Small Business Association loans. If you guys are getting a SBA loan, make sure you really have a business, friends, and file on your business. Um, the loans are wonderful, and you can pay them back, and they're affordable because they go about your credit and everything. But you definitely have to prove that you have this business. If you know little people out there that are getting these little $10,000 SBA loans and stuff, and we know damn well they ain't cutting grass or hair. Don't worry about it. Um, they are being researched at the bank. Um, when the checks come, they put in a freeze on your whole account because I had to go prove that I had my daycare and then that I pay taxes on it and that um and that um my CPA prepared my taxes last year and this year and the year before um to give me some help to stay afloat you know what i mean um and it's just it's crazy but anyway y'all everything to sum up amazon is going really great i'm very happy in my life with my new boo um the divorce stuff is going good. I got the money to pay for that. I'm um, just holding on to it just to see, make sure everything is okay with work. So I was about to pay them people on Friday. Um, the lawyer people that I got or whatever, it's only going to be $600. So I was going to pay them. And um, when all this stuff happened, when I saw my hours, I was like, okay, let me wait and make sure my ass ain't going to be fired because I might need to hold on to that co them coins. Okay? But don't worry about your girl. I ain't messing up at work like I've been ucking up and now I'm finna get fired. No, 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 no. They only fire you Amazon for your time. And because they messed up my time, hopefully they'll honor that and they'll take care of it. Anyway, enough rambling.